In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to meal prep a huge chicken and rice bowl with over 40 grams of protein. First up, I'm gonna get started with the chicken thighs. Now, if you remove the skin where most of the fat is stored, chicken thighs aren't as bad as people think in terms of macros. In fact, 100 grams of thighs have about 140 calories with 19 grams of protein, which is pretty decent. For this recipe, I will be prepping two thighs per serving, and I usually aim for between 150 to 200 grams of meat per serving. The same goes for the veggies. I will be adding one small onion, one red bell pepper, and one carrot per serving. So depending on how many servings you want to prep, you can simply adjust the amounts accordingly. For my recipe, I will be cooking up three servings, so I will triple the meat and the veggies. And if you want to make four or five servings, just do the same. All right, so I'm gonna start with the chicken thighs. I will put them in a bowl and add one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, and about 25 cranks of black pepper. Then, I will use my hands to mix everything together for about a minute or so until the chicken is fully coated in seasoning. Once that's done, I will set the chicken aside. Now on to the veggies. I will start by cutting the peppers into planks, turn them and then cut them into cubes. Next I will dice the yellow onions and do the same thing with the carrots as I did with the peppers. It's important to keep in mind that this is a huge amount of food, so make sure everything will fit in your pan before deciding how many servings to prep. Alright, let's talk about the rice and liquids, which go hand in hand depending on how much rice you are adding. For my recipe, I like to add 60 grams of raw jasmine rice per serving, which means I will also be adding about 60 grams of tomato salsa per serving. So if you are making 3 servings like me, which adds up to 180 grams of rice, you will need to add 180 grams of tomato salsa as well. In addition to that, I will combine 500 grams of water with 15 grams of chicken stock powder. If you can find store-bought stock that works just as well, it's essentially the same thing. I will probably end up with more stock than I need, but I will show you why I always prepare a bit more in just a minute. So let's get cooking. But before that, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. Element is formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited to folks following a keto, low carb or paleo diet. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio, 1000 mg of sodium, 200 mg of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. With none of the junk, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. When you sweat, the primary electrolyte loss is sodium. Athletes can lose up to 7 grams per day. When sodium isn't replaced, it's common to experience muscle cramps and fatigue. I'm personally using this for over a month now and really love it, especially for my cardio having sessions where I sweat a lot. Also, dozens of professional teams and players from the NFL, NBA and the NHL are on monthly element subscriptions typically recommended by the Head of Sports Performance and Nutrition. You will receive a free sample pack with any purchase that you buy through my link, and if you don't like it, Element will give you your money back, no questions asked. So head to drinklmnt.com slash and get your free sample pack on any purchase. So preheat a pan to medium-high heat and add a touch of oil. Then add in the chicken thighs and let them fry for about 1-2 to two minutes. I don't want to cook the chicken through yet, just get some color on it. After about 2 minutes, once the chicken has developed some browning, flip all the chicken thighs and let them fry for another two minutes. After four minutes in total, remove the chicken from the pan for now and add in about 10 grams of oil and all of the vegetables. Let the veggies fry, stirring them every once in a while for about seven to ten minutes. Since it's a lot of vegetables, this part will take a bit more time than usual. After about eight minutes, everything should have developed some color. Now add in the rice, give it a stir and then add in the tomato salsa and two thirds of the chicken stock. Save a bit of stock for now, you might need to add it back later if the pan gets too dry. Give everything a final stir, add the chicken back in, close the lid and let it simmer for about 30 minutes on low medium heat. I recommend checking on the dish every 10 minutes or so. This way you can flip the chicken pieces and make sure there is enough liquid left for the rice to cook in. If you notice that the bottom of your pan is becoming dry, simply add in a bit more of these reserved chicken stock, give everything a mix and continue to let it simmer. The amount of liquid needed can vary based on the size of your pan and the type and amount of rice you added, so be sure to keep an eye on it. After 30 minutes in total, check on the rice to see if it's cooked through and taste for seasoning. Once you are happy with the flavor, remove the 
pan from the heat and add in some fresh parsley for a pop of freshness. To divide the dish for meal prep, remove the chicken and cut them into roughly equal pieces. This is an easy way to distribute them, especially if they are not the same size to begin with. Then add the chicken back into the pan, distribute everything evenly and transfer the contents into three meal prep containers. It's fine if the serving sizes are slightly different, it will equal out at the end anyway. For this recipe, each serving comes in with 652 calories, 79 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat and 42 grams of protein. If you like this recipe, you need to check out my low calorie, high protein cookbook that will help you lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. Finally, I diet that works. From breakfast to lunch to dessert, everything you need is in this book. And the best part is that you will receive every recipe update for free after you've purchased the book. See it as a once in a lifetime investment into your health, link is in the description.